This is a solder sucker. Come on. Astounding, Astounding tools. Review. For those who don't know what a solder sucker is, we first need to understand that most components on a circuit board like this have tiny little legs that are put through tiny little holes and then molten tin is introduced at that junction creating a sturdy electrically conductive bond. But when you need to remove a component, you desolder and there are several techniques and tools one being the solder sucker. Just last week, I needed to unsolder a fuse from a circuit board. So I used a manual solder sucker like this one. This type is perfect to illustrate the principles of the solder sucker. Basically, a spring-loaded piston rests inside this tube. The spring is compressed manually until the rod and piston lock into this notch. Press the trigger and the spring forcefully pushes the plunger back to its resting position, creating a vacuum which sucks in molten solder. This rubber o-ring is what assures an airtight seal between the piston and the tube. Additionally, the tip is heat resistant, but can be damaged if overheated. And here, approximately, is how it's used. First, you heat up the solder to the point where it melts. You place the fully cocked sucker over the component's leg and press the release button. A spring-loaded piston suddenly jumps back and sucks the molten tin away. And every so often you open it up and remove little tin nuggets. Well, the basic sucker I was using, this type, broke. So a fellow sitting next to me lent me his Hakko FR301 solder pump. Heat for the whole process comes from the metal tip and pressing the button activates a powerful pump which sucks in tin continuously. Up to a maximum of 8 seconds he told me. All in one elegant package. Now I've been using this type, the manual push button type for a while now. His the Hakko is $350 to $500. A bit expensive for the amount and quantity and quality of work I do. So I looked online and I found this model. The solder sucking action on this model is created when a rubber bellows attached to this metal rod is rapidly pulled back by an electromagnet. Basically, a solenoid. It's got a heated tip which you place over the legs, those little legs of those, those components, on the back side of the circuit board. So when that metal melts, you press this little red button here, and it pulls back the bellows, and it sucks in that tin. Problem is, it doesn't suck in all the tin, and what it does suck in, once you release this button, and the bellows moves back into place, it spits out all that hot molten metal a mess. Take a good look at this model because if you shop online for solder suckers in a sort of a affordable range this exact model comes up dozens of times at about $55. So then I ordered this little beauty for $25 and it works incredibly well. The plunger is easily cocked manually and then triggered by this button. It even has a lead indicator, $25. Just wanted to share this with you. This video is not sponsored by Preciva or anyone else. Just wanted to share this. Astounding Tools. Tools. See you next time. Additionally, a couple of things that I know. First, I know that my soldering jobs are horrendous, but they still do the trick. They work for repairs. Also, solder, 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 all mean exactly the same thing. Uh, I know that in certain places, uh, people are adamant that it's solder and that the L is silent. 
Other places in the English speaking world, there are variations to that. Uh, you should hear the British say solder. Um, I'm more of a, a hybrid saying uh, solder. We're all talking about the same thing. We know exactly what we're talking about. So yeah, those are uh, two things that I do know. Thanks for watching. See you soon.